Seven five new safety measures to protect you in Calera after an increase in theft and vandalism. In the last week, the city placing several new surveillance cameras at city facilities and parks to hopefully deter or catch people who are willing to commit vandalism. Our Shelby County reporter Ajane Robinson joins us live with the latest on these new cameras, Ajane. Well, Jonathan Morgan, now that these cameras have been installed, officers and dispatchers will have access to real time monitoring and live feeds directly to the dispatch center, the officers in car computer, as well as an app on their smartphone. Chief David Hyde says instead of getting rid of their dispatch center, they now have expanded their roles to become a real time crime analyst to enhance the work that our officers are doing out on the streets. If a theft were to occur, these cameras will enhance officers and dispatchers ability to respond quickly and efficiently. That officer will have the ability themselves to actually pull that video for that area and basically start the investigation themselves, allowing the officer immediate access to the surveillance video. We've even seen that in the past when we have had a theft at one of our parks, sometimes that person will go to a different park. These cameras will now give the ability to identify suspect vehicles and reduce response times. If we see something going on, we'll be able to get officers out there and maybe interrupt crime in process and maybe save people from something terrible happen. As well as solve crimes that have already occurred and help keep officers safe as they respond to different calls. To have a set of eyes back here at our office that's dedicated to watching over the safety of the people there. The officers, when they're out and they're engaged with someone, you've got somebody watching your back digitally. In addition to the 79 cameras installed around the city, Chief Heitch asked the public to not leave your valuables in plain sight and make sure you're locking your doors. Now, the city also has plans to add these cameras at the new pavilion downtown once construction is complete. Reporting live from Shelby County, Anjane Robinson, WBRC, Fox 6 News, on your side.